Hello, good afternoon to all of you. I'm here to present my lesson, which is Social Cultural Theory of Cognitive Development. We'll start with the person behind this theory. So we have Lev Vygotsky. So he is a Russian psychologist and he developed a theory of cognitive development known as the Social Theory of Cognitive Development in the early 20th century. The main assertion of the Vygotsky theory is that the cognitive development of children is advanced through social interaction. So as you can see here, social interaction was emphasized, okay? Because social interaction plays a very vital role in the development of the cognitive aspect of children. That's according to Lee Vygotsky, and particularly those who are more skilled. So we get um, help, we get instruction, we get guide from other people. So he's saying here that in order for you to develop your cognitive aspect, you need, you need some people in order to help you, okay? And in the process, of course, you need to have, you know, you need to do communication with these people. And so social interaction here was also, is also very important. So these are the major themes in his theory. First, we have role of social interaction in cognitive development, more knowledgeable others, zone of proximal development, and scaffolding. So our discussion will focus on these particular terms. I'll we'll start with role of social interaction in cognitive development. Definitely, language plays a very important or central role in mental development. Again, using language is a tool, right? Language is a tool for us not only to communicate with other people, but it's a tool to learn from other people, okay? And of course, um, through our throughout our development, as we grow old, right, we communicate with other people. We communicate with uh, our friends, our peers, our parents, our teachers, right? and so on and so forth. And as we communicate with them, we absorb information and we learn skills from these people, right? Therefore, it becomes a very powerful tool for intellectual development. So we can also reflect on this, that um, if you have developed your communication skills, right? And yeah, and you can use the language very easily and... Uh, uh, easily to other people, then the better their learning will be. Zone of proximal development. So look at this picture. So we have here at the outer circle, these are the things that you can do without any help, right? The, in this, the central circle here, okay, uh, you can see this one. I can do this with some help. So these are the tasks that you can do with the help of others. And these, these, the inner circle are the things that you can do yourself, right? So as we learn something, actually, uh, we, we uh, pass through this circle. So first, um, yeah, the, 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 there are things that we can do that we do not know yet. But with the help of others, we, we um, slowly learn it. And by practice, they can do that task already, okay? So that's zone of proximal development. So this concept, um, the, the concept of zone of proximal development underscores Vygotsky's conviction that social influences, particularly getting instructions from someone, are of immense importance on the cognitive development of children okay so there must always be a guide right there must always be a guide from other people for us to develop our cognitive aspects next is more knowledgeable other okay so who, who are these more knowledgeable other according to Vygotsky's theory of cognitive development children learn through social interaction that include collaboration and cooperative dialogue with people or with someone who is more skilled 
in task they are trying to learn <clears throat> so in school who are the knowledgeable others so you have the teachers right so those are the people who have the mastery of the knowledge and skills right in which we learn we learn from okay so pwede din naman yung mga parents natin so they could be the more knowledgeable others parents uh, tutors right so these can be knowledgeable others all right next is scaffolding refers uh, this refers to the temporary support given to a child by a more knowledgeable other as that enables the child to perform a task until such time that the child can perform this task immediately or independently okay so we need scaffolding all right so in in learning for example let's take um learning how to ride the uh, uh, a bicycle for example okay so kapag ka nung, nung in inaral natin kung paano mag uh, drive or mag ride ng bicycle of course hindi yon immediately na natutunan okay need to first observe tama you observe mo paano nga ba paano nga ba magpatakbo ng uh, ng bisikleta right Ayan, so you observe, yun ba yung mga skills na kailangan mo? So, kailangan mong tatsakan, kailangan i-control yung monobela, and so on and so forth. After, after observing, uh, hindi, mo, hindi mo kaagad yun mapapaandar na hindi ka natutumba. Okay? Matutumba ka kung, of course, unang tingin pa lang and then kaya mo na kagad. So, it does not happen at all time naman. So, kailangan natin ng support from, kanino? From the more knowledgeable others okay so po pwedeng sino ba nag nagturo sa atin pwede kuya natin tid pinsan father mother so they they could be more knowledgeable others so pag i na natin siyang mag-ride meron pa rin yung support nila right of course they will be giving instruction and then hindi ka nila hayaan na magbike na lang basta-basta right hahawakan nila sa likod as a support para hindi ka matumba right so, as you practice, ayun, as you practice, nababawasan yung support na binibigay nila until such time na kaya mo nang i-ride yung bicycle alone. <clears throat> so, that's scaffolding, okay? So, there is a support that we get from more knowledgeable others. Scaffolding entails changing the quality and quantity of support provided to a child in the course of a teaching session. So, it's not always na yung support is, you know, um, ganun. Okay, so, as the child learns, babawasan mo yung support until such time na kaya niya na, alam niya na, right? So, we have this term also. First, may apat yun. So first, um, you see, I do. Okay, you see, I do. And then, it was na observed na ng child, um, I do, you help. Okay, so there's an there's a collaboration between the learner or a person and then the more knowledgeable other. I do, you help. All right, and then you do, I help. Okay, so most of the task is being done by by you, right? You do, I help, and then the last one is you do, I watch. Okay, you do, I observe. Okay, that's the time now you can already do the task or you have already learned um, whatever you are learning <clears throat> so there you go so i can do this with some help okay and jen kaparen but if scaffolding was provided by more knowledgeable other then you can do the task already by yourself so that's the idea of um, scaffolding okay so this is my reference. Thank you so much for listening.